Hi, I'm Mark Terryberry with Haas Automation, and today we're going to fill up our coolant tank to a 5% concentration level, and we're going to do this in just four easy steps. Let's get started. Step one, I take a five gallon plastic bucket and I fill it with tap water to about here. Step two, I take a clear plastic pitcher, you can pick these up just about anywhere, and I'm gonna fill this with one quart of concentrate. Step three, we pour the concentrate into the water and we mix thoroughly. Remember, we always add the concentrate to the water and not the other way around. Step four, we pour our mixed coolant into our coolant tank. And we repeat the process until the tank is full. Our coolant tank is now filled at a concentration of 5%. If we wanted it stronger, we could add a little more concentrate to each bucket. 5% is also at the lower end of the range of where coolant works best. This keeps our usage low and sets our levels right where they need to be. So let's go make some parts. So now we've been making parts in our machine and the control is telling us that our coolant level is low, about a half a tank. So it's time to top it back up. So the tank is half full, which means it's the perfect time to fill it back up because it makes estimating easy. And we will be doing some estimating as we mix our coolant. So it's time to make more coolant for our machine, but at what concentration? How much concentrate do we add to our top off buckets? A little more than last time? A little less? This is where we're gonna need our refractometer to measure the current coolant concentration of the coolant that's in the machine. You can pick up a decent refractometer for around $25. They're available online and at homebrew supply shops, and they're really easy to use. Now, a little while ago, we showed you how to fill up the coolant tank in your machine using just a bucket of water and a quart of concentrate. Now, those five gallon buckets mixed at 5% concentration, you can think of those as a kind of baseline for the coolant concentration we need for our machines. So if the concentration level is low, say 2%, you'll need to compensate for that by adding in buckets that have extra concentrate in them and maybe a little less water. This same estimate method can be used on machines that have higher coolant concentrations. Say our machine is at 10% coolant. We need to cut that rich coolant by adding in buckets that are mainly water with maybe just a splash of coolant. In our case, our coolant concentration is at 8%. Coolant tends to become richer as water evaporates from our solution during use. Since 8% is on the rich side, we're gonna mix up some buckets of lean coolant to add to our tank. Now we know that adding one quart of concentrate to our five gallon buckets gives us a mixture of 5%. So we'll only add half a quart of concentrate to our top off buckets to give us that lean mixture that we need to cut the rich coolant in the tank. And we'll add those lean buckets to our tank until it's full. Remember, when topping off your tank, it's best to use deionized water so the hard minerals in your tap water don't build up in your tank. The minerals left behind tend to accumulate as water evaporates. We filled the coolant tank. We were certain to run the coolant pump to make sure all the coolant was well mixed in the machine. Our coolant level is good on the gauge. Now we can go back and check our coolant concentration with the refractometer. Five and a half percent. Estimating our water to concentrate mix is gonna get us into the ballpark. But remember the most important thing, check your coolant concentration often with your refractometer. The more you use this method, the better your estimates will get. If you find yourself refilling your coolant tank all the time and you want to automate that process, consider Haas's coolant refill option. With CRO, you just hook up your water lines, set your mixing parameters, and the system mixes your coolant precisely and automatically. This keeps you in front of the machine making parts 
instead of behind your machine mixing coolant. For more information on the coolant refill option, click on this link. And thank you for watching this video.